Continuing our Olympic theme, the equestrian world team travelled to Oxfordshire in England to catch up with double medalist Astia Nicola. The French rider was competing at the Blenheim International Horse Trials after winning gold in Rio as part of his national eventing team and silver in the individual event. You really have this feeling like you are on top of the world and even if we are a few thousands, uh, we are a few thousand kings you know, in the, the kingdom of the sport and uh, in that respect it's been amazing. Astier Nicolas' love for rugby and his home team of Toulouse may have put him on a field of a different sort, but his equestrian career started as a young boy in France, hacking out with his mother, not riding, but running behind. He couldn't wait to be in the saddle himself and knew he belonged on a horse. But why eventing? The answer is easy. Otherwise, I would have done show jumping or dressage. It's for the cross country that I chose eventing. It's not only the adrenaline, it's also the, the big events that's a, a sort of a drug. Yeah? The, the atmosphere around it, the high level, the, the ex excitement before going cross country or just walk the course. Yeah. The, the contact with the horses is, is happening nicely uh, between them and me. And they're sort of a, a, a mirror and you've got to be better yourself if you want them to be better for you. They, quite sensitive animals and uh, yeah, you've got to, to be at your best in the, in the relation with them. It's something I developed the partnership with them early on and they are very, I'm lucky because they're all very genuine and generous to me. Astier enjoyed success on French young rider teams before breaking into senior level and the top of the sport. Last year on home turf, he celebrated his first four-star win. I won Po, it was uh, my area in France. So I had a lot of friends and family to share the, the, the victory with, and that was a, an amazing feeling. It started with uh, this horse I had at the Olympics, Piaf. He, he's been so consistent. Every time you expect something from him, he was above our expectations. I've, uh, I've rarely or never had that uh, with another horse. Yeah. He's, he's a bit like Michael Young. He's very regular. He's a clock. <laughs> With a great partner in Piaf on the plane to Rio, what were Astier's Olympic dreams? I really wanted this one. I knew we, we really had a, the potential to be the Germans. It was just now or never. And uh, I really wanted uh, us to win and get back on, on top of the eventing scene as we were at some point in the early 2000s. You'd rather focus on a, on a team competition with the statistics, you know, you've got 13 teams and one gold medal and 70 horses for one gold medal in, in the individual competition. So, and it, it's, um, it also turned to be a, an incredible feeling about the team, probably because we were four good friends. And um, it's not something to say just for the TV, but it really mattered. We had a great start to the competition with two nice play rounds. Then a, a big uh, stress and disappointment with uh, the two down we had in, with our third rider. And I, I saw this medal going and I was furious. <laughs> so um, I, I, w I went in very determined and uh, pretty sure I would bring a clear round. I can't tell you why I was pretty sure, but I was and indeed it happened. And after I jumped clear, I sort of knew we, we would win. The dream of two medals was celebrated with a party on the plane. But landing with a bump in the real world, a different world, what is life like for a double Olympic medalist? I did one fun TV show last week, otherwise, uh, it's not my cup of tea, but when I went to this TV show, some famous people just uh, recognized me and congratulated me. And you know, in the street, sometimes I've been recognized as well. So that's never happened before. It's not gonna last long. I was tired, but tired and happy is better than fresh and bored. And with the reigning king of eventing, Michael Jung, one step above him, what was said on that podium? Congratulating a bit, teasing a bit as well. He's touchable. 
unbeatable. And it's gonna happen. Game is on now. <laughs>